Let's take a look at how to create an assignment as the instructor in Google Classroom. Here I am in my class and I'm going to click the Class Work tab in the upper center of your screen. From here, we'll click Create, Assignment. Give your assignment a title. You can add your instructions here if you want. You can also add files from your computer, from Google Drive, or from the web. I'm going to choose Google Drive. From here, I have a worksheet that I want my students to complete. I'll search for it and attach the prompt. Once I've added something from my Google Drive, I have three methods by which to share with my students. The first method is that the students can just view this file. This means all they can do is read it. The next one, students can edit file, means that the entire class will come together to make a collaborative document. They can all edit this one document. So in this case, all 20 of my students will be editing this one document. And then the last method is make a copy for each student. This allows each individual student to get a copy of this prompt. That's what I want for this assignment. Once the student goes in and clicks on it, they'll have a copy made in their Google Drive, plus as the instructor, you can still see that copy. All right, as we go over here and observe what's on the right hand side, you have the ability to choose the class that you want. I'm going to leave it in the class that it's already in. I will release this to all of my students, so I'll leave that as is. Under grade category, this is where it can go into the grade book. So from here, I can choose an existing grade category. I'll just choose assignment one and give it a point value. In this case, it's going to be worth 50 points. Add your due date and a time. And if you're utilizing topics within your course materials area, you can place this in a topic. You can also choose to add a rubric. You can create one on the fly, reuse one that you've already created, or import one from Sheets. We're not going to do that right now, but just know that it's available to you if you want to use it. And lastly, I can turn on the originality reports. Now this is a freebie, so it is sort of in their beta version, and so that's why I, it, you saw the message that said I only had three of those left. The originality report is going to check what they turn in against resources on the web, similar to turnitin.com if you've ever heard of that. All right, I'm all finished with my assignment, and now I can either assign it now or if I choose the small drop down arrow from the blue button, I can either assign it now, schedule it, or save it as a draft if I'm not sure what I want to do with it. I'm going to go ahead and assign it now by just clicking on assign in the upper right corner. And here you'll see I have assignment one included in week one available for my students.